Okay, talking about love. This one's an unusual one because it's actually from a Facebook post. And it's by Jim Rigby and the Presbyterian minister out of Texas, whom I follow every day. Um, he says the following, to be healthy, religion must call us into living and to loving, not just into itself. In braiding sweetgrass, Robin Wall Kimmerer reminds us that indigenous religions are very different from the religions of empire. The subtitle of Kimmerer's book is Indigenous Wisdom, Scientific Knowledge, and the Teaching of Plants. In her book, Kimmerer speaks of an important difference between nature-centered and anthropomorphic religions. The ceremonies that persist, birthdays, weddings, funerals, focus only on ourselves, marking rites of personal transition. In a colonist society, the ceremonies that endure are not about land, they're about family and culture. Values that are transportable from the old country. Kimmerer shares a more ecological experience of religious ritual. Imagine standing by the river flooded with those same feelings as the salmon as they march into the auditorium of their estuary. Rise in their honor. Thank them for all the ways they've enriched our lives. Um, sing to honor their hard work and accomplishments against all odds. Tell them that they are our hope for the future. Encourage them to go off into the world to grow and pray that they will come home. Kimmerer's insight is incredibly important. For religion to be healthy for us, it must initiate us into living and loving, not just into itself. Religion that has reduced its context to human wants and needs does not lift us to the larger life we share with other species. Anthropomorphic religion loses touch with the longing we feel to find our place in the tree of life and to realize we are expressions of a deeper, cosmic process. When religions become self-referential, they're dying or dead. They shed no light into our real lives. And they certainly cannot help us be at home in the world we currently occupy. Religion is not necessary to save us from some hypothetical threat, but it can be very helpful when understood as an art. It's an art that helps us live and love more fully. And to be healthy for us, Religion must initiate us into living and loving, not just into itself. And I have three short responses to Jim Gregory's words because I think they bring it full circle. First person, as a Native American, mixed blood but raised in the traditional ways, which at 77 I still follow, this makes perfect sense to me. A second person says, what is life but a religion? of all we know about love in our innards. Do plants and animals not respond positively to love? I feel like I grow exponentially when I give and receive love as the universe intended. Dogma just screws me up. Things don't just exist in black and white. The magic is in the brilliant colors. And third and final comment, people looking for their place in the world so often focus on finding the right person to be in relationship with, which may not happen. Instead of finding and developing your connection to the whole cosmos, which is a lifetime love affair. Thank you, namaste.